Alright guys, welcome back. I'm Reefly. You guys are watching Tomb Raider for the Xbox 360. And um <clears throat> kinda clear my throat there. Um last part we kind of escaped uh that cave from those weird people. I'm not sure who they were. And uh, we made our way to our our uh, first base camp, but now we need to find some food. Let's go do that. Oh, just get our little deer. Oh God, what's going on here? Wait, I can use that bow. Oh, it looks like we gotta grab that bow. Now I have played uh, ahead a few hours, so I kind of know what to do. For the, mo for, for the most part, I, I will still suck at times. All right, the time is right. No, nope, that's not good at all. Makeshift longbow. Let's see if these things still work. Just remember Roth's training. All right, so there are some you can arrows. Have the best form and technique in the world, but it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. So yeah, there's arrows right behind you. So grab those. So hungry. I need to find something to eat. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to explore in this area. It happened again. Private Koske. He was on gate duty last night. No one heard anything. And this morning, they found his helmet. Nothing else. No tracks of his leaving. No blood. No shell casings. Nothing. The others are talking about Chinese partisans. Maybe even American GIs. Damn fools. They have no idea what's happening here. It is the Oni who stalk us. The restless, evil spirits. They live in the old places of this island. We are trespassers here. And they are watching us. Waiting. All these wrecks, the ruins, this entire island is a graveyard. It's only a matter of time. The Oni will come for us. Alright, so there is a uh, little document. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed. From all the documents I've seen so far, they are all, uh, all have, like, dialogue, so I don't have to worry about talking, <laughs> so that's a good thing, but, uh, usually games don't go to that much of lengths to do that, um, so it is quite good. There's some more arrows there, Get some more here. jump up here I kind of I explore this place quite a bit in my off time hmm. some kind of container who <laughs> left these behind so I'm gonna go find everything I can just to show you guys where to find them uh, but our main goal is to find animals to kill And I screwed that up. Dang it, deer. Oh, headshot. Bambi, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bambi. 
Doing the dirty work. Right, back to camp. Alright, so we can head back to camp, but I want to do that. Alright, Lara. You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. Dang it! <laughs> You're gonna die, dear. You got lucky. I totally missed. Pick those arrows up and do one more thing and yeah there's like four or five deer running around in this area um where is it I think it's this so if you shoot these uh they are collectible and I think there's like there's a few around here yeah another deer You get XP for pretty much everything you do. Uh, there, there's a, a leveling system and all that, which we'll see um, later on. I think we've already seen it, actually. Dang it! Alright, and... Um, what I've noticed so far with this game is... Uh, it doesn't. It's not an open world, but it has open world environments. So each environment is explorable to a point. Um, so this is actually one of the bigger open world ones uh, that I've seen so far. But I think mainly that's due because of restrictions on where you can go at the beginning. And these deer just keep popping up. But I'm, I think I'm like three hours into it, um, so what I've played so far is, uh, it's been pretty good. And, uh, that way, okay. I'll just say that lower I could speed up quite a bit. <laughs> I mean, I, have, I haven't really had any trouble getting used to the controls. Everything just feels really nice. The environments, I mean, the environments look really nice. Definitely one of the better environments I've seen in a while. And I apologize for that stupid MGS 2 and 3 thing that keeps popping up. But uh, I can't pause the download right now. And it just keeps, for some reason, this game doesn't like... That's showing up. Actually, this is the leveling up since I don't think I leveled up before. So I'm going to take uh, higher ammo capacity because that seems very useful. And so there's two kind of trees to go to survivor and hunter. And uh, you get points in a way. I mean, it's. This is Conrad Roth, captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth! Lara! You're alive! Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach, and then it went black, and I woke up in a cave. There was Sounds this like crazy, crazy man and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. <laughs> I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. Alright. 
Um, one thing I want to say is the voice acting for uh, Laura in this game is phenomenal. I really... Uh, I'm trying to think Music. who the voice actor is, but I remember... I remember uh, them saying that she's part of the Vampire Diaries show, I think? I've never Hello? seen that show, but... Hello? Is someone there? But, um, she's actually, she's, looks pretty similar to Laura, actually. I wonder if, uh, because I've had, like, Tomb Raider rumors as far as, uh, movies go, coming out as of late. So maybe she'll play it. But, uh, great job voice acting. She really sells it. Be your way through. Damn it. Yeah, let's drop in Tuva. And oh, we have no clue where it goes. Great idea. It's usually a great idea in any game. I don't know what you're doing either. I would never go into this place. Oh god, this is insane. Light that on fire. And yeah, there's a door here, but we cannot uh, break through it. And uh, this is. Traditional no mask represents a hateful woman in the guise of a demon. So this is um, kind of collectible things you can find, relics, and uh, if you have to examine it by looking around and there are traces of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. And when your your controller vibrates and you find a uh, extra inspection point or something like that uh, you just get some more experience you get a little bit more information on it um, and there's tons of collectibles in this game so if you're a collectible kind of person this is uh, definitely a good game to get Dang it, Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. You just can't let any other game have the spotlight, can you? Alright, so with this, we can now pry open doors. So that's why we need to go over there. And now we can open up this door. And we can go through this putrid sewage and crap. Yo, this way. Ah, oh, for some reason, like this, like setting, like this, this reminds me of Silent Hill. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of weird. But we're out of it. 